The peace of the Lord be with you this day and always. I'd like to talk a little bit about prayer, which is so important, not only in our lives, but in the lives of all people. In Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Taoism, Jainism, and our own Christian faith, prayer is essential. We all rely upon prayer. All religions of the world and all peoples pray. It's part of our humanness. And prayer is disciplined in many ways. There are different kinds of prayer, different times for prayer. I remember growing up in Hartford, Connecticut, one of the guys in on our baseball team was an Orthodox Jew. And he prayed three times a day. In fact, there were times when he would stop what he was doing and take the minute or so to offer prayer to Yahweh, his God. So it's available in more than just Christian denominations. We are people who pray. But to pray to whom? Well, we call it God. But first of all, let's get God out of a mythical place called heaven. Heaven is non-existent. It is simply a way to describe the transcendence or the difference of God. So when you see that basketball player who at the final bell scores three points and wins and then points to the heaven, God ain't there, okay? Where is God? He's probably sitting on the side of the coach watching the game and maybe even cheering for it, who knows? So let's get God out of this mystical place called heaven, which is non-existent. God is in all. God above all is in each of us. A Christian understanding of God. We, using the limits of human language, try to describe divine reality. In our Christian faith, we talk about God in terms of Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or sometimes the triune God. We use male terminology, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which is neither male nor female. The Greeks use a wonderful word called mysterion. It, that, it's the Orthodox and Union Greeks both use this prayer, that we don't really understand God. We can enter into God but we never exhaust our knowledge of God, nor should we exhaust our love for God. Prayer is our common form of Christian ministry, a common form that should be in the lives of all who profess Jesus Christ as Lord and God. It is God who prays in us. He gives us the grace, the strength, the direction in order to pray. Each member of our God can be prayer with or can pray to God or God Father, God Son, God Holy Spirit, but God is present in all. Prayer in words, prayer in silence, various kinds of prayer. I know of people at Epiphany who use centering prayer as a type of meditation, a type of quiet prayer. Others who use prayers they grew up with as children, it's, the important thing is that we connect with our God and the God always connects with us. We acknowledge God's presence and above all, setting a time for prayer in our daily life. And not just when there are crises, but because of God's love for us and our friendship with him. Amen.